Camilla. Oh, that's one on the jacket. I think I'm overpacking. This is next Santa Claus. <laughs> you Camilla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, this, is, this is for Finja also. Okay, thank you, my love. What's added? Hey Cam fam, so I'm finally done with my work for the year and it's time to pack for Finland! Okay, so we are going to pack Sienna's stuff and I actually already filmed something like this before but I'm sure you're not familiar. You know why? Because I deleted it. <laughs> I was intending to vlog it and I vlogged it. I just wasn't able to upload it because I deleted the files out of my own free will and volition. So we are now doing the same thing. We are going to pack because I know a lot of you guys are curious about how I pack for Sienna, especially for long haul flights. So I will be sharing that with you. Later on, she'll be joining me. She's just on her afternoon walk. Wow, afternoon walk. So if you guys have watched my packing vlogs before, you would know, not the one that I deleted, that doesn't exist. But anyway, if you guys have seen us travel, then you know, especially when we're in Europe, I usually pack Sienna stuff in packing cubes, but I can't find them right now and I really just don't have the time anymore. The holidays have made me very, very tired. So we are not packing with any travel cubes. But normally I would, especially for Finland because we'll be at my in-laws place. So it's easier for me to unpack Sienna stuff with beer and cubes. But this time that's not happening. Okay, so since we're going to Finland, the temperatures there get really, really cold. It's a white Christmas. I mean, it is the Nordics, so this is our winter edition. Key. Oh, are you back from your walk? But it's, it's going to um, it's, it's go home time. It's go home time? Is it time to help mommy pack? Okay. Okay, so first up, let's put Sienna's thermals. She already had some before when we were in Japan, but I bought some more for her this time because I found some in Uniqlo, which is a godsend because usually we don't have a lot of heat techs here in the Philippines for Sienna's age. But surprisingly, I found a lot. Okay, my camera is shaking because Sienna is under it. Okay, but surprisingly, I found a lot the last time I went, so mommy got some. Yeah, the new ones. Mommy needs to bring all of them before lunch. And I need also this one. Yeah, we also need to get gloves. I'm getting this gloves. Okay, then later we'll edit. What do we do? Edit. What's edit? <laughs> Editing means we'll see if it's something that we can use or something we can't use. Okay. We'll also have to bring your jackets, my love. What jackets? Your winter jackets, because remember in Finland it's burr. Can you bring it there, my love? Why? Because it's so heavy. Yeah, mommy needs help. Why well, need help? Mommy needs help. And... Oh, oh, that one, I like it. Yeah? Yeah, like I'm a baby. But yeah, when you were a baby, you used to wear it, right? But I think you wear it because it got small. You come here. Does it fit you still? Yeah. Can mommy see? Yeah, this one is okay, sure mom. Is what about this one? Is this okay, mom? See? <laughs> okay, so now I have to lay them out. Usually I lay them out so I can see. It's much easier to pack for this trip because we're just gonna be at my in-laws. So it's not really like the type where we have to like dress up and stuff. So we're mostly at home. So then I can just... So then I could just get a bunch of basics and make sure that I'm able to mix and match a lot of them and we're good to go. But usually when it's for a trip, like let's say it's a short trip of like three to five days, then I really plan out Sienna's outfits. And how I plan them out is really just to lay out all the stuff on the floor so that I can also style them and make sure that, you know, I don't bring a bunch of shoes. So I'll choose like which accessories will go with these outfits and which shoes we'll be bringing as much as possible. I bring like just a few pairs of shoes so we don't overpack. So yeah. Mommy has to put them all on the floor so we can see what we're bringing. This one. <laughs> we got a bunch of these pants from Uniqlo. So these are all the Keep Tech fleece pants. So I was really happy and I bought a bunch. So that Sienna is warm. Then a bunch of her Heat Techs as well. Thank you, my love. Thanks, my love. Welcome. I also got a couple of thermals from Marks and Spencer. These are a bit bigger. So I'll just layer on thermals so that the love bug is for sure warm. Right, Sienna Bug? Yeah. Right, Sienna Mama? Yes. Our turtlenecks here. What size is this one? 
So this is one of Sienna's outfits that we haven't worn yet. This is cute faux leather dress with this one. I think it would look really cute inside the house. It's gonna be too cold for her to wear outside. But cuter naman inside. And then because we're going there during the Christmas. No, this one. Yeah, this is the Santa Claus. Correct. So, because they're going during the Christmas season, of course, as a Christmas addict, we're gonna bring Christmas dresses. Right, my love? Yeah. High five! High five! Boink! I'm also gonna bring this cute Christmas jacket. It's so cute, right? Yeah. I'm gonna bring that. Then to wear it before it's small. Yes, before it gets too small. That's right, my love ball. <laughs> of the sweaters as well. These you've seen before. for sure and this as well because Yoni always tells me that for Finland you need overall that's not it's super cool <gasps> So I packed her all long sleeves. So even at home, she said long sleeves long. <laughs> but she can wear the heat tech long. How about that? Just that at home is okay. Okay. So I need to pack some normie stuff. So I have this fleece jacket. I also have the purple one, the new one that we bought, right? She has this rainbow set with these pants. And then she also has these overalls. This one is approved, no? Yeah. And this one mommy really likes because this is for Christmas. Okay. In case we go to a Christmas market, yeah, nice still cute. And then this one also, it's an overall. Mm. Okay, approve also brings it. Okay, and then, so for these that don't have the bottoms, I have these this two options. This is for boys. Mommy, you can also pack this. This is for Finian also. Okay, thank you, my love. Can I borrow? Here. Wow. Okay, I think I only want to bring one of this. So I guess this one, no? This is better, though. This is okay, so this one is useless for you. So we don't bring this. And the we stay and the I think I'm overpacking because I have no patience right now to edit, so we're overpacking a little bit. I think that's good now, all of it. So now let's talk about gloves, my love. Yes, yes. I think the blacks, yes. This one, yeah? Yes. And then for more outings. Why would you need gloves inside? We go to the mall. It's cold in the mall? Cold in the car. How about the paw? I throw it. Oh my god. I thought we could make it with just one bag. Do you still believe? Yeah. And then we're bringing these hats. Because they're important. And then for shoes, we're bringing these. All snow boots. Oh, Sienna reminded us that we still have a pink boot. So thank you, Sienna Bug, for reminding mommy. You're welcome. And then we'll bring a pair of rubber shoes as well that she'll just be wearing on the plane. And then we're gonna pack also Sienna's sleep suit. 
So this is her thickest and also biggest sleep suit. This is from Love to Dream. It's their 18 to 36 months sleep suit. And it's pretty thick. Like it's the thickest one I've seen in the market that's available here locally. So I bring two sets of the sleep suit because sometimes she still gets accidents at night. So then at least we can wash the other one. We always have an extra. Probably for this 20 day trip, I'll be bringing three sets of pajamas for her. And of course we're bringing a Christmas pajama set. Woot woot. Now I'm just packing a few socks for Sienna Ball. So it's a mix of like grip socks and normal socks so that she has both. I think this is good enough. And then I also bring a bunch of small towels for Sienna, like mga bimpo hankies. I got her hair accessories already as well. So we're done with basically all her outfits, like everything involving her outfits. Um, the remaining textiles na lang textiles are just her towels. So we're bringing two towels. We could just borrow from my in-laws, but Yoni wants us to bring hooded ones, so really for like kitty towels, because it can get cold in their bathroom there. I also bring bed absorbent pads just in case like for accidents. At least she can still sleep on her crib and doesn't seep through the mattress. Normally, I also bring her own bed sheet and blanket for Sienna. If we're staying at a hotel or Airbnb, that's just for safety reasons for me. Like sometimes they're just not so clean, so I'd rather just bring my own. I also always bring an extra because nah, accidents do happen with toddlers. But since we're staying with her in-laws and Yanni's sister has a baby of the same age as Sienna, we could just borrow from them. So yeah, that solves our problem. So when we go abroad, I also usually bring our own diapers already calculated for the entire duration that we're there. But because again, we're staying with family, we just ask them to prepare that for us. I also normally bring milk with us just because you don't know with the tummies of these kids like if bagay ba sila dun sa milk na available in that country. So I normally bring it. Like I bring an entire carton, like a not open carton and I just cling wrap it and then put it in a plastic just to make sure that if it bursts, it doesn't damage anything else here in the bag. But because we're staying with family and we're usually in Finland, we already know what milk to get for Sienna there. So I also don't have to bring that, which is great because I no longer have space for Sienna. Wipes, of course. And then I bring Sienna's toiletry kit. I'm gonna show you. So I bring her Oogie Bear. So this is for her cleaning her nose and her ears. Instead of using cotton buds, we use this. Toothbrush. Her toothpaste. And then we have here in her toilet kit, her head to toe wash. I just cling wrap this as well because I've had an experience before where it just burst on me. So I cling wrap it even though it has a lock just to lessen my anxiety. <laughs> And then we have also here lotion. Sometimes I leave this because I don't really put lotion so much on Sienna yet. Her skin doesn't need it yet. But because we're going to such a dry country like Finland, I think it's better to bring. And then I also bring our own baby bottle soap because we are staying with our in-laws and they don't really use a uh, baby-friendly soap. So I still bring our own for that. And because they don't use a baby-friendly soap, I also bring our own brush. Like a bottle brush and also a straw brush so that it doesn't mix with their stuff. Now, we're gonna pack cleaning brushes. I bring two bibs for Sienna. Just so if this is still wet, we have this extra one. Also her own utensils. But I'm gonna bring this to the plane. Maybe the knife should stay here. So I shall pack that separately. I also bring these just in case so that when we're out and about, I have her snack box with us. The snack container is my favorite one because she can hold it herself and doesn't, it's like, it's not spill proof, but you know, it's, it stops her from getting so much. So I bring this because I'm sure we're gonna buy Moomin cookies when we're in Finland. And then I also bring her cups, two cups. One is for dining and then the other one is for brushing her teeth because my in-laws place is like up and down so that I don't have to keep transferring one. I bring both na lang. And then her milk cup. God, it's so fat. bring Sienna her medicine kit. So in her medicine kit, we have like a nasal spray, emergency epinephrine because I am a girl with a lot of allergies. So I was like paranoid, so I have those. And then I have paracetamol for her. Just some sambucol just in case she starts to feel sick while we're there because it is very cold. Also lactulose. So we bring that. And then also her multivitamins, which I'm going to transfer first to a smaller one. And then we're done. Oh. Because this bag is extendable. Very good. Okay, I'm done with this bag. Okay, 
Okay, so we're done with Sienna's main bag. I'm just gonna quickly show you the stuff that I put in our hand carry because there's stuff that we can't really check in. So, oh no, this one is not in our hand carry, but I bring her nebulizer with us depending on the country and depending on how long we'll be there. Since we're gonna be there for a long time and it's a cold country, I'll bring her nebulizer. But this doesn't go to the hand carry. It goes to Leonie's bag. But yeah, stuff that I put in my hand carry in either my tote or in my trolley. I bring with us our nasal aspirator. It's an electric aspirator that I really, really love. This is the brand. It made our aspirating life so much easier than as opposed to the manual version. So we'll bring this one and this is rechargeable. So that's why we have to put it in our cabin carry-on instead of our check-in. These are also in our carry-on because this is her sound machine. So every time we travel, I also bring a sound machine with us because it's not as soundproof wherever you are. Maybe you're in a hotel, Airbnb. So this really helps. Even though we don't use this anymore now here at home, we use this every single time we travel. And I feel that it's a really strong sleep cue for her because nah, she's been used to this when she was a baby. So when she hears the sound machine, it's a good sleep cue for her. I also bring with us our own baby monitor. So this is the lollipop baby monitor that we use when we travel. And then we also bring a nightlight because this is part of our sleep routine. I also bring snacks with us. So I have a few snacks here. And then, as I've said, I bring our own utensils in the plane and also her bib. I also asked Tiana what stuffed toy she likes to bring with us. So she gets to choose. And for Finland, she wanted to bring her kiki. So we're bringing that as well. This one will go to the luggage, not to the carry-on. But I also bring a lunch box with us just in case we have some long trips, like a day trip. At least we have a lunch box with us and I could just pack lunch for her. And then when it comes to her toys, it depends on how long the flight is and also how long we'll be at the destination. Since we're gonna be at Yoni's parents' place for a long time, I'm bringing her new busy books. So these are busy books that she really loves now. This is by a local store called Marcos and Mommy. And I really love how they did these busy books. They're very well thought out. And Sienna really loves them. All very different as well. This busy book even has some washable markers so she can draw on these black pages. There's also like puzzle piece, Lego, and then you can make the shapes according to the different guides. So yeah, really fun activities. There's two more busy books, so we're bringing all four because we are gonna be there for a long time. I think those are the only toys I'll be bringing. Oh, and also her camera. This really keeps her busy as well. She loves her camera, so we're bringing that. And maybe I'll also arrange like a tiny little Play-Doh set because I think Play-Dohs are always good for restaurants. And then the rest we could just borrow from Sienna's cousin. So that's why we're just bringing these. I also bring a thermos type of bottle for her for the plane because it's a long haul flight. So this will keep the milk fresh. So this is where I put Sienna's milk and then a separate water bottle for her water. Usually airlines are not strict as long as your kid is still two and below. So they allow you to bring as much liquids as you want. I've done it a lot of times and I was only questioned once. And I really fought for our case and these let us through. And then I also bring like a smaller set of wipes also bring a comb all the time because I am an OC mom and every time we land I need to fix her hair so I need to bring this comb with me. I also bring a washcloth in my carry-on, hand sanitizer, set of diapers of course, another set of clothes, another pair of socks just in case accidents happen you'll never know sometimes it reaches the socks trust me. So yeah I think that's basically it that's everything we bring for a long-haul flight and I hope that you learned something from this vlog. Bye! See you next year maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see if we'll still have another vlog before the year ends. But I'll make no promises because Mama deserves a holiday. A good holiday with her family. And I hope that you guys also get a good holiday with your loved ones. See you when I see you.